Microsoft Excel 2010 using functions part 3. The count A function counts all cells in a given range containing any data regardless of the value of the data. Sometimes we need to count only the cells containing certain data such as F for female. Select the cell H4 and click on the insert function button. If the function can be seen, select it and click OK, otherwise type in the name of the function and click on Go. Select OK. Select the range in which cells must be counted. Click in the criteria box and enter the criteria. Count only the cells where the value is equal to if. Click on OK. Notice that in the function the range has been separated from the criteria using a comma. Also notice that the criteria is typed in inverted commas. Select H4. Click on the insert function button. Select count if. Click on OK. Select the range in which the cells must be counted. Click in the criteria box. Type a less than sign followed by a greater than sign. This means not equal to. Count only cells where the value is not equal to F. Click on OK. To count the number of distinctions which have been highlighted here, use the COUNTIF function. Type equal COUNTIF, open round brackets. Select the range in which to count the cells. Type a comma, type inverted commas, and then type greater than or equal to 80. Close the inverted commas and close the brackets. Click on the Enter button. A learner has failed if they get less than 30. A mark of 30 would mean they pass. Type equal count if. Open round brackets. Select the range. Type a comma, type inverted commas, type a less than sign, and type in the passing mark. Close the inverted commas, close the brackets, and click on Enter. The number of failures is 1.